Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Stargate Timekeepers. The stealth game, top down. Ooh, it's really hard as well. So, Stargate Timekeepers is being released by Slytherin Games and follows just after the Battle of Antarctica at the end of Season 7, as we all would have seen if you're a Stargate SG 1 fan. This mission is Mission 3 out of a seven mission first part of Season 1. This is called In Plain Sight, and we're going to get a rundown of what In Plain Sight is actually all about. More stealth. After the successful supply mission on Hactyl, Stargate Command continues supporting the planet's resistance movement against Moloch. Years ago, Moloch decreed that all girls born under him must be put to death in the ceremony of fire. SGC agreed to help save the intended victims of this ritual on one of Moloch's worlds. Following the disturbance on Hactyl, the resistance needed a last-minute plan to save the infants. Majors Max Bolton and Sam Watson wait outside the site, ready to infiltrate and delay the proceedings. So there you have it. Think of the children. So the Jafar are out to get rid of all the girls in a particular village. Keep the boys for strong Jafar. Let's get on with it. Um, a treetop network to go through and the sacrificial pyre. It's heavy stuff, this is. This took me about four hours to complete and I've cut it all together we the for your viewing pleasure. This is going to be what a step-to-step -step walk walkthrough of In Plain Sight. The ceremony of fire Here we go. Will Here's the recap. Soon. We must save our sisters or they will burn. We're short on time. You're here because of your experience in infiltration. Savoda is the high priestess. She will lead the ceremony. I could disguise myself as a priestess and perform the opening of the ceremony. Prolong it as a distraction. I like it. Damn. They didn't skimp on manpower. There are guards everywhere. They're not taking any chances. Can you sneak past them? Sure. If I look like someone with authority, I can stroll right in there with the right disguise. Right. For now, I'll stay back and cover you. I'll find a spot with a clear view of the village. There should be another gateway on the other side of the ritual area. Go through there and head on to cease further. Do we know for sure that she's in her treehouse? Apparently, the High Priestess is always there before the ceremony. I hope she keeps to her routines. We can't sneak out the kids if we don't find her first. Right, and we're short on time. Let's go. Right, okay, recap done. Now is where the rubber hits the road, as it no were. We've got our two protagonists. we got Max, he's the sniper. God, and we've got sick. Sam, who's the covert infiltrator. So, as we've done in previous anyone missions, we've got to get in a bush. We're all crouched down as well. So, uh, so being crouched down is the forever. default oh, in all games for being won't. stealthy. We'll we can see sure the view that. lines as well of the Jafar. Having a good look around. That's all good stuff. We have to do something really cunning here. Now, naturally, the first thing I'm thinking is, well, hmm, do we go directly at them? Now, in this game, we've got a synchronized plan tactical mode, okay, by holding the control key. Um, I might use that. I might not use that. I don't know. Let's make sure I've got that all set got up. Idea. Let's resume the game. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take Sam, our infiltrator, towards the north side of the map. Already on it. There's Jafar up there, an armored Jafar, and we're going to use an ability that Sam has, That's easy. which is to disguise ourselves as an armored Jafar. Now, as we'll see a little bit later on, Jafar have got different levels of, uh, of rank. So as we can see up here, we've got a couple of bushes. There's just a guard Jafar this. right hey. there. Um, he's no good to man nor beast, like other than the fact that, you know, right. he can see us. Okay, let's 
keeping our eye on the one who's on patrol. We're going to jump out of this bush, club him over the head, tie him up, hide him in the bush, out of the way. So we've got him out of the way. Okay, so, and now we're going to go after that armoured Jafar. Now the armoured Jafar, you can just see him talking to himself at the top of the map. Already Tricky one, it. this. So, here we go. We're going to go and hide behind that cart with the barrels in it. And we're going to access right. that help node right there. There you go. So that says, as Jafar civilians cannot defend themselves, they'll run to safety if they detect one of your team members. This may mean they'll raise the alarm. So we've got to be careful of the people. Even though they're not armed, they're going to see us. So let's go and hide in that bush over there. Now, we've got to distract this fella. We've got the ability with Sam to use a hologram that we can put in plain sight of the Jafar who's walking around on patrol. Here he comes. Right, I've we've thrown our hologram out. Now, throwing it out is not like the other distractions. You've got to activate it. And when it activates it, it shows a hologram of something that's going to attract the Jafar's attention. Once you've done that, right, they'll look at it for a couple of seconds, giving you time to sneak up, give them a thump on the head, knock them unconscious. Right. So there we are. We've got the we've got the hologram. There he is. We're going to give him a, a bit of a thump. We missed. No problem. We picked up the projector. We're going to do that again. We're going to throw it out. But when you're going to activate it, when he comes close, and you've got to be quick with this. I mean, I'm still getting used to the control method on this game. Here he comes. Right, we're, we're going to get ready. We're going to activate our hologram. There it is. He comes over. Right. He sees us. No problem. He gets the thump, and we tie him up. And you guessed it, everybody. We're going to stick him in a bush. So that's the patrolling Jafar out of the way. Everybody else seems to be minding their own business. Already on it. That Jafar over there, the armored Jafar, that's the one we want. So you got it. Sam can avoid detection um, by scanning the appearance with the mimetic projector. This is great. So two attracts their attention. We're going to hide in the bush. No one else is looking. He's going to go back to his patrol space. As he's armored, we're going to have to use a zat on him. Here it is. One zap from a zat stuns you. Going to happen. Two kills you. Three disintegrates you. Now that got changed in Stargate towards the end, I think about season five, because people were just getting zatted left, right and centre. It was ridiculous. And then some people got zatted multiple times and didn't die. But as you can see there, I've hit number four, and I am mimicking now an armoured Jafar. This is one of the lowest ranks of armoured Jafar I can possibly have. Yep, I've got um, this. Noticeable. And now I can typically just walk around as if I own the place, providing no one of a higher rank sees me. Now, what we got to do is get Max to the vantage point. Now, Max is our sniper. If you remember, we left him all the way back down in the clearing. We're going to walk down there. There's nobody that outranks us down here. Uh, and we're going to do a little bit of cheeky, sneaky stuff. See, no one's playing the blindest bit of attention to us. And I like that. That's what I like about this game. We can just walk straight up to people. I am a Jafar. You're going to get this. it. Now, that's the vantage point we have to get Max to. The initial vantage point. So I'm going to go up there as my Jafar. And I'm going to disable them. Because I can. And it's easier this way. That's Much easy. easier this way. Whether or not updates to this game will make it not as easy. And I am playing in story mode. Now, story oh, mode in this game means that you have unlimited grenades, that sort of thing. Um, I did it because it was Good idea. Fair, it's very difficult, and I wanted to get some content. Out. He's tied up. He's just gazing off over the ridge. There you go. Already I'm just going to tie him up. Don't need to throw him off. I could throw him off, but I don't need to. I'm just piling no up in one particular corner, I think. Now, you haven't always got to throw your bodies in a bush. You can throw them off a precipice. Uh, as macabre as that sounds. That's easy. Now, I'm going to take my Sam character, who's now looking like uh, an armored Jafar, and we're going to move on down. 
and we're going to start to take out some of these people Piece and clear cake. out this clearing. Now we've got one Jafar on patrol, one having a good look around. We're going to have to be quite cunning about this. Here we go. See, we just walk straight up to him. No one plays the blindest bit of difference. And that's what I like about it. I like this disguise aspect of the game. Right, right then, moving on. All right. Here comes that Jafar. As soon as he goes over there. I'm going to get him to shoot or tranquilize or zat, more than likely shoot that guy. That could take him out. Then I would be seen. That's a problem. What to do for the best. Now, there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can stun him, you can shoot him, or you can just knock him out. Knock this one out, outside of the view. Or de basically knock him out and then shoot the other guy. I've got this. Right, he's down. He comes over to investigate. I come out of my bush. There you go. Give him a good thump. Bam. Right, tie him up. Job done. All we've got now is the two remaining okay. Jafar down at the bottom. Now, I didn't have to do anything with them, or with them, to be perfectly honest, because they don't see up that one incline where I have to huh? get the sniper, max the sniper to. Um, but I'm doing it. I'm still learning the game. This is only mission three. Uh, as it's only mission three, I'm still learning the tactics. It's not always necessary to hide people in bushes. It's not Already always it. necessary to disable every enemy you come across. Let's if you can it. sneak past them, then so be it. So, I can shoot one and then disable the other. Pow, there he is. This dynamic of the game works well, but does attract an awful lot of noise. So one's dead and one's disabled. This leaves the area free now. I can get Max all the way to the first vantage point up this hill so he can provide Ready some for overwatch for us. Nice and easy. Let's hear it. Right, with that done now, on to the next difficult Oscar part Mike. of the mission. If this looks easy, I can guarantee you it isn't. Special oh, thanks also goes out to Slytherin Games as well for giving me the press release copy of this. So I here I am. Um, right. I've got Overwatch. Do you do. Lie down and watch things unfold. Yeah, that's exactly what I do. Right, we're ready to move on. Cool stuff. He's got lots of really cool abilities. And to be fair, I didn't use him much in this mission. Anyway, one thing to note, bullets do not affect armored Jafar with one All sniper right. shot. You've got to use energy. So let's get over to this health point. Health point. It's going to go on to getting into the actual village now. This is tricky. Now it goes on about ring transporters. I didn't actually do much with the ring transporter at this stage of the game. It just means that if there's an alert raise, more reinforcements come into the ring transporters. As long as the guy with the red symbol above me doesn't see me because we're the same rank, I can just walk straight past him. So if I go in behind him, he hasn't seen me. That's fantastic. There's no problems at all. I use the use button. I open the gates and I am in the village. Piece of cake. Couldn't be easier. Now, as you can see, there's another Jafar there of a higher rank than me. If he sees me straight away, the disguise will be up. The jig will be up. So as he comes around on his little route, his patrol route, I'm going to take him out and I'm going to steal his disguise. At least this will let me go past some of the lesser Jafar we can try that are in the base. So, out with the Zat, because he's armoured, only energy weapons, unless you've got Eva, which we All haven't right. on this mission, who's got the binoculars. I'm going to tie him up. There you are, and we're going to use the disguise. Scan him. Use the disguise when they're dead, 
or they're tied up. And then you go dump Good them. Good idea. The there it is. Right. There's my disguise. I've got this. Hologram refreshes. I am now an officer, which is good stuff. All right. Okay, so now I'm an officer. I can walk past that guy. Right, you know what I'm going to do. You know he Already needs a good thumping. Hey, X. Nobody you else can see me. McCain He's being thumped. Great. Really don't care. Now, there's uh, quite a few sight lines I've got to be aware of here. I got my cross here right a couple here. of high-ranking oh. Jafar in the, in the area. Let's just scope this out from this bush. You can see where he's looking, although the pyres are providing a bit of cover. So I think I've I can go back this. behind the, the truck and using All a little right. bit of speed, a little bit of crouching, I can get through and not be detected. Okay, here we go. Right, there you are. See, there's the shadow of the pyre. I can stand there, no problem. No one's going to see on. me. And then... If they do, just go back behind the shadow. Right, the other Jafar's gone away. No I can get behind the other pyre to the left-hand side. What comes. else you got? Sometimes you can shoot some of the objects. Cause a bit of distraction. But that's not going to help me. This is the guy. He's the problem. You can see where he's looking. Over to the pyre to the left. That's easy. Let's go. Oh, I don't think the other guy can see me. Great. I can sneak around the other side. Nice and easy. You see, the sight lines are not seeing behind that, that pyre. Right, okay then. That's where we gotta go. Let's move, move, move. I can't use that particular item. He's going to turn around and I'll be fine to move on then. Good idea. Go. Not going to happen. I should be able to walk behind that armored Jafar. Piece of cake. As soon as he, the other guy comes round and then starts his walk back, I should be able to time it. Already on it. Go. That's easy. Right, we're well, we walking directly behind him. He hasn't seen us. Pass it to Jafar. You can go and hide in that bush. Sure, we're crouched. That guy can't All see right. us. We are we are undercover in the foliage. Oh, right, and then we can make our way then through the glowing gates you know, on the left hand side. <laughs> okay, okay. And we're through. Jeez. So far, so good. If I've made this look easy, it's not. If you're watching this, you had the same problems that I had. Whereas I didn't know where to hide, what to do, what I could shoot. And that's the beauty of this game. This game gets you thinking in a stealth mode. Now, see, we've got a Jafar shuttle. We can get through those gates and in. We've got to get that treehouse as well, but we can't get in there just yet. I've got this. Right, moving on. We'll see these people a little bit later on in the game. Kill shock. Hey, whoever just attacked Sam, come in. Did 
you knock him out? I did not know he was Tauri. Kind of the point. Why are you inside the walls? I was sent here to observe the entrance, but I. <sighs> that was my shot. I don't see anyone else near you. Hey, what's going on? He is awake. Oh, thank God. Hey, are you okay, Sam? We need to Charlie Mike. Yeah, I'm okay. Let's go. So, uh, hey, what's your name? So now there's three characters. We've got Atar, who's our Jafar sympathizer. We've got Sam, dressed as a Jafar. And we've got Max, as a sniper. And we've got to get through quite a few different checkpoints right now. Okay, so that Jafar has been eliminated. We've got to get round past that shuttlecraft. Uh, there's a few little points we can do here. Quite sneaky beaky this is. Uh, like the rest of the game hasn't been sneaky beaky, but this is really sneaky beaky. So, um, we're off, because we've got somebody now. We haven't just got to worry about ourselves. We've got to worry about our Jafar, who's not disguised. And as soon as they see Atar, the Jafar, Atar the Jafar, um, what's going to happen here is that's going to raise the alarm. But she has her own set of skills. She's got a knack with a grenade. She's got a distraction ability. She's got a charged matop. Things Anyway, the Jafar staff. Already on it. And every now and again, she says words like Jafar Kree, which is absolutely fantastic. So here we go, moving on. All right. We'll get behind those logs. Quite a few people. We're going to take quite a few people out here. I mean, to be fair, I don't think we really need to take out those civilians, but we will because we're completists. So by default, Jafar officers are resistant to physical attacks and will raise the alarm. Right, so that's telling us we've got to use the Zat gun, the charge staff, or the grenade. There's a few areas here we're going to get through. And you can see, if you watch my first video or second video, there's a bit of the environment, those vines, just the top of the map. Now, Atar, our Jafar, can climb up and down those vines and sometimes there'll be like a tree root she can hang one of her grappling hooks off so that one of the SG members can then follow so okay we can see all these different tree houses on how we've got to get there fantastic um, however and it's a big however this is going to take a bit of time this Video wise is 55 minutes and that's with editing. With actually playing this, this is a good three and a half hours worth of gameplay if you've got your wits about you. And I've failed several times. That quick save and the quick load ability of this game is absolutely essential. And to stay on top of your quick saves and quick loads as well. Make sure you don't save in an area and think, oh, I shouldn't have done that. You can always go back to the previous one by hitting the escape key on PC and selecting one of the previous saves. So, okay, I'm going to wait till that armor Jafar is going to turn around. We're going to go over there and we're going to give him a good zatting. Because that's what it's all about. Right, there he is. There's our zat. Choom. Zatted. And as for him, he's going to get a thump. There, have that. And we're going to tie them both up. All right. And then no one can see us. We're going to get on with our lives. Now, these two here are going to be a problem. The other worker, just over there, that should be pretty easy to take out. We're going to go and take him out now. I've got this. Uh. 
Yeah, a simple thump will do for him. There we go, tie him up. There's that vine I was talking about earlier on. That's easy. Yeah, we'll put him in a bush. We haven't put him in a bush for a while, so we'll put him in a bush. And now it's time to take these fellas out. Now, I don't think I had to take those fellas out. I'm doing it as opposed to them raising Good the idea. alarm when a tar comes round the corner of those those logs. So that's the whole All idea. Right. All right. There you go. Bit of a thump. All Tie him up. Job done. And then we get onto the really hard bit. Now, Sam has got quite a few abilities, as you can see. He can thump people, he's got the hologram, he's got the zat. He can be an infiltrator and holographically disguise himself with his uh, Mimitech device. This. But he can also chat to people and distract them. He knows he can speak the Gauld tongue. And that's one of the options Piece we're going to be using next to get past this next section. That's easy. Right, everyone's very sort of safely hidden in bushes now. Already on it. Let's get on with it. All right. As you can see, those two guards there, well, they won't look at us because we're an officer. Although the other Good guard, idea. you'll see our Jafar sympathizer straight away. I've got this. Sound the alarm, and the jig will be up. Right, let's move a tower around. Um, you can see one guy is looking. We're going to have to distract them with some chit chat, right? Some Gawawuld chit chat. Need so we're going to move our disguised Sam on it. all the way over. No one's going to play the blindest bit of attention to him. And we are going to distract that one Jafar guard who's looking directly at the other Jafar and the vine. By doing that, he'll turn his gaze, we'll sneak on behind. That's what it's all about. Right, we'll move a tar up a little bit. That's what we really want to see. We want to see that vision right there. You can't sneak past without the distraction. The distraction is going to be key. Indeed. Now she's crouched and just out of his vision. Perhaps he should have gone to spec savers and got a new pair of glasses. Anyway, we could use a bomb, right? But the bomb really would, or the grenade, Ten really forward. would attract too much attention. We couldn't get round everybody in time. So the chit chat is going to be the way. No point through in a distraction either. There's absolutely, what are you going to distract? And it'll only be temporary. This guy can keep them talking for hours. Onward. What was that? <sighs> Nothing. Right, we've avoided detection. Let's move him up. Just behind him. Hit the chit chat. Good idea. I heard you talking, Sam Watson. You speak the Gwal tongue. Select the person you want to talk to. I they will turn and face talk, you. But keep the sight line is gone. Talk. You can get down that vine. Yes. Now, there is a guard down there, but he won't see us because there's a bit of a balustrade. Ready for action. And we are Already using on. universal stealth mode of being crouched. We can just walk down those steps. There's no I've problem at this. all whatsoever. No need to take out those guards. No need at all whatsoever. Huh? Now, this is quite tricky. I'm at Jafar, one end. Some guy just sat down and this guy on patrol wearing a chain link vest. Very sort of Bennett from Commando, if you know what I mean. So what we intend to do here is we intend to get past those, take this guy out. I've got this. And for that, what we're going to do is we're going to use we a Atar's distraction. That's what we're going to do. Now throw the distraction advice. They'll come just out of the line of sight. 
you'll move over to have a look. We That's could zat him, no problem if we wanted to, and we could take them both out. Give him a good thumb. Boom. I'm not going to do that. Right. Boom. Right, they're knocked out. Here comes the other one. Bit of a zat in. Good idea. Here we go. Of course, physical attacks won't do anything. We just tie them both up. Job done. Now, just in case anyone comes down here and no one's on patrol and the sight lines above by the shuttle as such, you can just throw them off the side of the... of the walkway. Or you could just leave them there. All depends All how right. much of a completist you want to be. Any other ideas? It is quite satisfying when you hear them go Rah! when you throw them on. Not going to happen. Quite funny. Okay, with all the cleaning up and tidying up done, time to move on and get to the next section of the game. Which is also just as, just as difficult. This is a hard, hard game, everyone. A really hard game. Need anything? So the pathway is now clear, we can move on. Our disguised Jafar can go up there and do a bit of distraction because we won't get a tar past and we can then take out that one Jafar who's just staring off into the, the foresty goodness. So we can go up there then with a tower and take all those out. That's the plan. Then we've got to get across all these walkways somehow, using all the subterfuge and the skills we've learned so far, uh, and get to the hut, the high priestess hut. If anything, there's a good story. And I do like these sort of games. Stargate Timekeepers is doing a fantastic job Ready for of action. suspense all the way through the game. What shall I do? Right, so we distracted the Jafar. A tar can then walk past up to that other Jafar, and we can knock him out. Indeed. No energy needed. We can just give him a thumb, then throw him off. Shall not. There yes. you go. Over he goes. And then we can get her then up that vine that only she can climb and take out those Jafar up there. Mandy. All the while the other guy is engaging the other Jafar in chit chat. There she goes, climbing up. I shall. A load of bodies tied up. Imagine the amount of zip ties or rope or handcuffs that are being used. Now, you can use a grenade here. There it goes. There's that it. You can give them a thump with the staff. Another thump with the staff. That gives you an extra bit of time as opposed to just the blindness. That runs out quite quickly on this game. Tied up and tied up. We can move on to no. the next section. You can, if you want to be complete, take out the Jafar up there. But you necess don't necessarily have to. I did I've this without this. taking him out. Now we're going to move Sam, who's disguised as a Jafar, right the way through this patrol. There we go. No one's even batting an eyelid. Now he's going to be integral here because he's going to be able to take out guards so that you can get a tar across those walkways. Now a couple of things to, be, to look out for. If you hide right at this point, right here, Already no one's going to see you. As this guy comes around the corner, we give him a thumb. Somebody will say, hey, what's going on? Just crouch. Now tie him up. All right. No one's going to see him. Okay? You can then stand up and walk around as normal if you want. This guy, very senior Jafar up there with a nice gold helmet. Everyone loves a gold helmet, if you know what I'm saying. Um, keep an eye on his sight lines. His sight lines are what gonna trip you up here if you're not careful. As he comes down, you can see the sight Good lines. Idea. You'll then turn around straight away. Get your zat out, 
that that armored Jaffa. Tie him up, this. and you can just leave him there if you want to. There's no need to do anything else with him. Now, move out of the line of sight. Stand back up, because you've got nothing to hide. You're an officer. As this guy comes towards you, and then turns around, you can just stroll up All that right. walkway to the next section of the tree houses. Right by that ring device. There we go. Notchalantly strolling around. Good idea. Nice and breezy. And then what we can do is we can take out that Jafar. Again, with a zat. Piece of cake. Tie him up. No one plays the blindest bit of attention. Now with that done, it's time to get a tur across the walkway. Keeping an eye on that one Jafar officer is imperative, right? As he comes down, we're going to start our walk across. You want to be crouched straight away unless you've taken the Jafar out on the upper platform. So here he is. He's on his way. He's having a bit of a look around. I shall. Right, we can start moving right now. Don't want the other Jafar to see us. At this point here, you can stand up and then do a double click and you can start running. And then when you get to the other end, you can start crouching. Hi. Right, done. Fantastic. We're there. Now we've got to move him just out of range. So when the other Jafar comes around, he doesn't swing around and see Onward. the fact that there's somebody of the same rank Hi. there and see through the disguise. It's at this point he'll That's swing easy. back round. There you go. We've got a tar coming over. We're moving Sam across to engage in chit chat and she'll just walk Ready straight on action. by. Easy. Then right. we stop the conversation. They go back to their daily lives. Nice and easy. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to use a grenade to take out that Jafar and that Jafar on the right hand side. Not particularly Already tricky and a bit, a bit brute force. But I think it's probably the best way of doing it. You could do this with a Zat. I think it could be done this way. So Atar's going to do this. Grenade. They get in the same range. Whap. Now, I used number two attack, the charge staff, to knock them both out. Nice and easy. And then I'm going to tie them up. I shall. So there you are. They're neutralized. Next up, on to the next section. Now, we're going to go to the left, that sort of boat-like structure we've got here. We're going to move our Jafar infiltrator right the way up. That's where we've got to get to, where the High Priestess is, is kipped out. That's easy. And again, what we're going to do is we're going to engage one of those Jafar in conversation. Go. Right, he's now not looking down that one particular gangplank. What we're going to do now with the tar is we're going to walk all the way up. Throw a grenade, stun them, knock them out, tie them up, move on with our lives. That's the plan. There's the blue circle of effect. There goes the grenade. Right there. Boom. Right. Everyone's stunned. We can give them a good thump in. We can tie them up. It's very easy to get confused at this stage who you've actually tried up. And the control system sometimes can be a little bit clunky, holding down the left shift and then the left I'm mouse here. button. Everyone seems to All be right. tied up. What we can do now is walk our Jafar over, take out those Jafar over there, or one Jafar and the worker, and then sneak on by. Here he is. Over he comes. We're going to wait for him to turn around. Piece of cake. Bang. He gets a thump. We tie him up quick. That's easy. He gets a thump. Bang. Right, the coast is now clear. Now you can see a little flashing doorway, a little sort of like the cupboard under the stairs aspect of things there as well. You could use that. Um, I didn't need to. We can get a tar now because those sight lines are not looking where we need to go. We don't need to go to that higher platform. 
either. We can just sneak around the side and then just gain access to the priestess treehouse hut. The Jafar are looking the wrong way. No one's guarding that side of things. And once we're there, it's going to play a bit of a cutscene once Atar gets here. But it's imperative you get both people here. So here she comes, and here comes the cutscene. shall mock. Keep quiet. Where is your daughter? What? I have no daughter. Every girl born under Lord Moloch is offered to him in the pious. Yet I am here, am I not? Who are you? You are young. You cannot be from here. I am Ata, your daughter. Tell Cole. Nonsense. It is impossible. I was there. I saw it. Ata, we don't have time for this. How could you do it? How could you even think of killing your own child? I am not a blasphemer. The law applies to everyone. You. You. I'm sorry. But we've got a mission. Bolton, this is Watson. Costume change complete. What took so long in there? I'll tell you later. Have you still got us covered? Well, I haven't got a clear sight of the outer gateway. I'll need to get in a better position. Do you know where, exactly? Yeah, I've got an idea. All right. So, I guess it's time I got on with the show. Make sure you drag out that opening. Long enough that we can let in the resistance and save the kids. Ata, when Sam starts the ceremony, can you open the gateway to let your people in? Yes, I can do that. Good. Once you're done sneaking out the kids, Sam and I will move out. I understand. So that's another objective completed. Now what we can yes. do, we can use a tire's grappling hook on that. With a tree, lowers a line, and that will allow that's easy. Sam, who's now disguised as the High Priest, down. A couple of Jafar to take out here. Hey, Watson. How long do you think you could drag out the opening? Let's get a tire How hidden in the bush. I can add and start taking out Jafar. Out to say, I'll throw in some mime. Who's gonna question no one's going to block. Bat an eyelid. It's a level 3 to High Priestess. Like new challenges. Ah. Good idea. Ease down. Piece of cake. Tie him up. Already on it. In the bush he goes. Checking out the line of sight to the other armor Jafar. He's out of sight. Excellent. And the thump. That's easy. Bang. Tie him up. You guessed it. Pick him up. Put huh? him in the bush. The other guy that's just digging by the Stargate couldn't give a hoot. Couldn't give a hoot. So we'll drop him off by here. No one's going to go up there. There's the dialing this. device as well. Can't do anything with that, unfortunately. Okay. And we're just going to walk on past. What's my motivation? Uh, Take this guy out. No one's going to notice him, Bob. Pick him up. All right. Hide him in that bush. 
And now it's the time to That's go and get easy. that armored Jaffa. Clearing the way then for Atar to come through. At least from this section of things. He's armored, out with the Zat once again. Already on it. Pyong. I've got this. Again, he gets the bush treatment. Good idea. And we can go and take out the other guy who's walking around. Makes things nice and easy. Piece of cake. We haven't even got to hide. We just go wait for come back on his merry way, and then we can get on and we can start the ceremony and then ham it up a bit. That will then hand over to a tur, who then has to open the gates for the resistance to get in, who will save all the children. That being the Stargate Timekeeper's right. way. Right, he gets a zat in. There you go. Tie him up. That's easy. Just drop him over there in that bush. Easy. Good idea. I say easy. This part was pretty much straightforward. Whether or not I got into the mentality of the game, which I think is is one of the things. Um, but you go to this particular section here, and then Sam, who is disguised as the high priest, will start the ceremony. Right. Now it's a Tars. Shoot, no problem. Now Max has to get to a different vantage point. Now because I cleared everywhere, I can stand up, no one's going to see me, I can use a little bit of speed, I can run all the way down, past all these bound and subdued Jafar, right up to this particular area where we got our initial disguise. Right at the beginning of the video. Oscar Mike. Here we go, there's still a worker there who can raise the alarm. We're going to crouch in the bushes. Try again. Making sure we use cover as much as we possibly can. Let's go. And once he gets to his overwatch point, overlooking the village, he'll be a bit more used to us this time. I've got this. Atar, this so a lot of back. activity down there. Sam Another Stewart, objective completed. Yeah, we can open the way for your people. Now it's all down to Atar. Take out some of those and get to the I door release. That shall not be necessary, Max Bolton. All right then, and just call me Max. Okay, right then. We've got a couple of yes. Jafar to take out. This is not too difficult, um, although I do think I cheese this right at the end, just. You may have a different way of doing this, so let me know if you do. So a grenade will take those three out, or I can distract somebody just to move them. I don't think you necessarily have to do this particular method, but it might help. I shall. Indeed. Bit of a thump there. There'll be a vision line as well from one of the Jafars that we can take out. Onward. Give them a bit of a thump in. We're hidden behind that bush. We can tie them up. We haven't got to do particularly anything. I'm just going to leave them there. We've cleared all the Jafar guards out. But there's no way of me getting over. So this guy here, at the bottom of the screen, he needs to be taken out. And we're going to use Max as a sniper for this. I mean, he has to do something. He hasn't done much, to be perfectly honest with you. So we're going to use the sniper method and take him out. Shoot. That'll leave us free reign then to um perfectly honest with you take the rest of the people out got a good line of sight right there if you use a dart that'll wear off i'm not sure i can get up there in time so i think do you know what a single shot from the sniper rifle will take him out everything else hasn't got the range right there it is Pyong, and he's down and nobody is any the wiser we can now Get a tar over, take out that Jafar, and get them bound up. We'll hit him with the staff. The guy on the bridge, the Jafar on the bridge, well, that won't do anything. 
Understood. As long as they're subdued, that's fine. There's nowhere really to hide them. You need to stick them over in that Shall. bush, I suppose, if you really wanted to. Here comes a Jafar looking. There's a couple of bushes we can hide in. This guy's not going to see us. So we're going to move on. Onward. A few bushes. There's no need to do any additional shooting, I don't think. Not at this stage. We're in the bush. There's no one else who can see us. We can probably take them out quite easily. I shall. We're only a short few steps now away from opening up the gate. Onward. Here you go. Bit of a zapping on. Let's get over there, give him stunned. Yes. That guy's just woken up. I could have been a Understood. bit better with my timings there. Tie him up and then get over there, tie him up. Onward. Get them in the bush out the way. And now, onto the final section. This is where we're going to open the doors and let the resistance in. A fine idea. Right, here we go. Letting in the resistance. Group of Jafar there. We should be able to crouch down and just get round the side of that truck out of everyone's line of sight. And if they do see us, well, we'll just move on. I reckon I could use a stun grenade there, take out all four. Without anyone seeing us. I shall. Okay. They're all nicely grouped. A stun grenade should do it. And then it's up that gam plank and we're away. One stun grenade. Whap. Understood. There you go. And then we'll get over there. We'll use the attack to do multiple opponents. Everyone's knocked out. He's knocked out. Tying up A people. I think the Jafar's going to see us just round the corner now. Something's up. Yep, he's seen us. I was a little bit too slow. The alarm has been raised. I'm just going to run for it. I'm going to run the other way round from the guards. This is what I mean by cheesed it. Up that gam plank and open the doors, and I'm away. And that, everybody, is how you complete Season 1, Mission 3 of Stargate Timekeepers in plain sight. This one was hard.